Question 6. It's five numbers here. We've got 3, 13, 20, 43, 81. Make a fraction with a value between 3 and 4. Well, this is a really tricky little question, actually. It's a really difficult question. Basically, we need to make a top-heavy fraction that when we do a division, the number on top is not three times, is bigger than three times than the bottom, but smaller than four times. So, for example, if we make a list of the threes, if we went three, six, nine, twelve, you can see that if we made the fraction 13 over 3, that's going to give us, um, and what's it going to give us? It's going to give us four holes and one third, because it goes one, two, three, four, plus one left over makes the third, so it's four over three, 13 over three. So we need to find a number that's bigger than four. We need to find it between three and four. Same thing, we obviously can't do 20 over 13, that's out, because that's somewhere between one and two. So, well, and three and 20 is too big, so let's try 13 and 43. 13, 26, 39, and then it goes up to 52, doesn't it? So we've got 1, 2, 3, and our 43 is somewhere in between here, isn't it? So if we write the fraction 43 over 13, we're going to get a number that which is bigger than 3, because that would be 39 over 13, but smaller than 4, which is 52 over 13. That's a really tricky question. I really don't like that question. Um, right. Let's go down to this one. Now, which is bigger, 13 over 3 or 81 over 20? Well, there's a number of different ways of doing this question. So let's just rub out what we've got here, because we might need that space for working. One way of doing it is converting the bottom numbers to the same. So if we do 13 over 30, uh, 13 over 3 and 81 over 20, if we convert the bottom numbers to the same. That would have to be 3 and 20. The only smallest number they both go into is 60. So we have to find out how many times 3 goes into 60, which is 20, and we have to do 20 times 13. 10 times 13 is 130, so 20 times is 260. This goes in 3 times, so 20 goes in 3 times, so that 81 has to be times by 3, which is 243. So which number is uh, bigger? Well, 13 over 3 is bigger. You can see it's bigger because now the bottoms are the same. You can see that 260 out of 60 is more than 243 out of 60. Okay, so that was method 1. We could look at doing a different method. We could have converted, let's do this in pink and I'll do it over here. We could have converted 13 over 3 we could have converted it into a whole number and a mi or a mixed number. So that goes into 4 and 1 third because there's 3, 6, 9, 12. That's 4 plus 1 left over is a third. 81 over 20 goes in 20, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80. That's 4 holes and 1 20th left over. So you can see the 4s are the same, so you've just got to compare the 3rd and the 20th. And so 13 over 3 um, is biggest. And the reason is because 1 third is bigger than 1 20th. If you think about that, you're dividing something by 3, everyone's going to get a bigger chunk than if you divided something by 20, everyone's going to get a little chunk. So I didn't like this question at all, five marks. Question six, I really didn't like. The first bit was quite tricky, and the second bit was, was just as tricky. Okay, So you might want to go back over the videos and check you this video and check you understand it.